Hey everybody, you're watching the Boba Squadron podcast live tonight. We are talking about the Star Wars Acolyte trailer, the new uh, action figures that are going to be coming out with it, some new Jazzwares Micro Galaxy Squadron announcements, a really cool Star Wars event that uh, you know some of us went to this week, and of course, Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 3 Episode 8 recap all tonight on the Boba Squadron podcast live. Hey Kevin, hey Paul, hey Ernie, hey Yoko. Hello there, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano. And you're tuned in to Boba Squadron. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say on Boba Squadron. This is the podcast you're looking for. What's up everybody, happy Monday. This is the Boba Squadron podcast live. I'm your host Kevin Toying Around and uh, we do this every week. You know, this, this channel we talk about collectibles and action figures so i figure uh, we can talk about the tv shows that give us the awesome toys that you know come out of it and uh, we do this weekly with uh with some of my good friends and we right now have have the bad batch to talk about and lots of toy news there's lots to get into tonight and um we don't want to get caught in a 45 to one hour shout out to the chat as much as we love you all but please welcome back to someone just gave that's rude. So please welcome back to the channel, uh, the Boba Squadron. We have Yoko McCann, the Fallen Fett, and of course, Polly, bitter Asian dude. <laughs> so, which one of you gave me the middle finger? It's probably Yoko. I no, gave you two was... double fig two middle fingers. There you go, demonetized. <laughs> right off the top. Right front. Within two Four minutes, minutes in. in. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you. Uh, how's everyone's week going so far? I know it's early. What? Good. I missed the question. <laughs> and we're back. And we have a, we have a lady DK. <laughs> no, how oh, dare you? What? What was the question? Sorry, not this month. Not this month. No. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Yoko? You you're back from your trip, and you've been posting a lot of um, reels. From your vacation. Yes. I've I've I think I'm up to day five of my vlog. I'm not day really five. sure how What's many four? it's Ichi Ni San, San. Chi. Well she or Yong. I went with Yong because it sounded What's better. The difference? It's there isn't really, it's just kind of like what sounds better. But why oh, like, are there different I don't know uses? why four has two different ways to pronounce it. Ichi, I don't know. Ni, san, chi, go. Yeah. Ha Hachi? hachi, yeah, Nana Roku? Hachi. Roku, Nana Hachi, Roku, Nana Hachi, Q, Q, Q. Q. yeah, there you go. Welcome back. Um, <laughs> Lady DK is now a thing. All right, people, part relax. Roku tomorrow, yeah, okay. So, part, part Yoko, Roku. <laughs> oh, uh, Ernie, anything as interesting? What's new with you, man? What's up? uh nothing <laughs> what a an eventful week there was a lot going on this week i mean even from all that news there's a ton of disney news as well so parks news merch news media yeah meetings, so the star wars mean? star wars day is coming up for the parks mm -hmm. so not only do tickets go on sale for celebration but uh there's park news for star wars days in the park it's going to be from april to june is on sale already yes or they announced it, one of those. Well, the, to the, you're talking like a theme. Universe. He's talking about like it's like the park is themed season of the Force, right? From April to June. Yes. You're not talking, so it's like it's your regular Disneyland tickets, not not a special ticket. Oh yeah, right. no Star Wars nights will be going on in May, but they're changing the whole park for Star Wars days from April to June with food, popcorn buckets, uh, the brand new Star Tours ride. Um, there's also which Paul, I should have signed you in that one. I'm gonna see what I can do. You should have definitely been in the new Star Tours, yeah. You're gonna mm. see what, you can and if see. you're in it and I have to sit there and watch and be surprised, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Leave? It's <laughs> yeah, so, I'm gonna throw popcorn at the screen. Stop the Get ride. Here. Get yeah. him off. I know him. Um, <laughs> and then, uh Popcorn buckets. Uh, what else do we have? The change of Space Mountain into um, 
the Star Wars themed. There, there's Mountain. a ton of stuff. Food. Yeah, the Hyperspace Mountain. Uh, they just revealed the Jabba the Hut popcorn bucket today. There's a storm shoot, a battle damage stormtrooper bucket to put your popcorn in, which nice. is kind of, eh? and I want to hurry and get that one because I wonder if they're gonna pull it because it's <laughs> it's a damaged stormtrooper helmet, like busted up, and you you're, eat eat, you're eating out of a dead trooper's helmet. Yes, <laughs> right, exactly. A little as, weird, as opposed to popping off Jabba the Hutt's head and reaching down his gullet. No, Jabba the Hutt, his Good. whole stomach opens and everything. Oh, oh that's, better. that's <laughs> much better. better. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Next is the uh, the Tauntaun popcorn bucket where you get the <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, that'd be cool. Dude, go let's that do a, a churro <laughs> Tauntaun case. Then you got to <laughs> rip open his belly and pull out the churros. Oh, <laughs> I want it already. Yeah. Only if it comes out the bum. Anyways, nice. Nice. they can repurpose that dune bucket no, and make it a sarlacc. Like spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, spaghetti. Give me spaghetti, spaghetti bucket tauntaun. first, Disney. <laughs> I'm so down. Mobile spaghetti. Spaghetti and yeah. out of that mm -hmm. belly. <laughs> and you're right. The sarlacc bucket would be sweet. So, yeah, there's that news. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on, Kev. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we, we already have some super chats already. Thank you. Ken Plume. How's it going? Thank you for the super chats. A shout out to Leonardo and the Boba Squadron. I, I Ken uh, invited me onto his podcast, and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And in the process, he kind of like, I don't know, it it kind of seemed like I would turn into a Leonardo based on the things he, he was saying. I think he was guiding me in that direction. About that that's controversial. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but you know, he what's he wrong put, with Leo? The, the painter or the turtle? The turtle. Oh, Da Vinci. <laughs> no, the turtle. All right. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Renaissance man. But hey, Ken Plume, thank you so much for the super chat and for being here. Alexander Eagleson with five. Thank you so much. Says hello, Boba Squadron friends. Kaipi, Kevin Yoko, Paul Ernie. Oh, keep your, keep your pants entertained. Oh, <laughs> Kevin Yoko, Paul Ernie. I thought it was <laughs> keep your pants entertained. Why did you My get God. that so quick? Was that a thing? I know. Why? Why? <laughs> Have you thought about this before? No. Don't look it up, though. But Keep, you know, keep your pants, oh. Ernie. Like you didn't make that up? That's a thing? <laughs> keep no, pants. I just made it up right now. I don't know. Kipe. I didn't know it was Kevin, Yoko, Paul, Ernie. That's awesome. All right. That's a thing now. Keep, keep your pants, pants entertained. <laughs> keep your pants empty. Uh, uh, my wallet is. Polly, what about you? How's your week been? I know we... <laughs> Well, it's Just been so long since we've spoken to each other, Kevin. Yeah. Um, pretty much the same as a good start to the week. I'm gearing up. I'm going to be heading down to Los Angeles uh, at the middle of this week. Going to be shooting a short film in that area. Mm. Um and um yeah, so just just sort of getting my head around going on another flight mm -hmm. down into this. I've been traveling a lot lately and it's I, it's starting to catch up to me, I think. But uh, it's been an eventful week, a fun week. A week filled with toys and Star Wars events and announcements and and trailers and lack of sleep and air travel and uh, yeah no it's been fun looking forward to this is it, you should take some um, I don't know some some vitamins just boost that immune system if you're going yeah. on another another flight and I don't know how that's gonna go but hey it's called, that sounds awesome yeah it's called whiskey <laughs> cheers yay yeah. I got a drink too. I just have a Coke Zero. <laughs> Coke on the rocks. Uh, yeah, and uh, we, you know, last week you and I went on a, a quick trip to America for some Star Wars related events. Uh, I want to get to that after I say what's up to everyone in the chat before it gets out of hand. Um, you know, just get into the practice of not letting it so passive aggressive <laughs> build up so overtly. Uh, but thank you everyone for joining us tonight there's lots to go through like we said uh toys uh new trailers and of course uh bad batch uh first in the chat we have mark rose what's up we have winger lose a channel member thank you winger lose and also uh sent me some screenshots again this week although um he I, I feel like i challenged him to get even more screenshots this week than last week uh but we're gonna make use of all of them thank you winger lose we have bitter troll the whole episode 
Yeah, basically, he just <laughs> gave me 24 frames per second for yeah. the whole episode. Uh, just turn down the frame rate. We have the T Toys of Manila it says hello there. Uh, I don't, I don't have the sound bite. General Cano, oh, wrong one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, here you go. General Cano. He sounds really strained. I guess he is missing most of his body and just has a heart and lungs, barely. Uh, we have Aaron S. What's up? Says good evening, Boba people. Thank you for being here. Carl M. John Takus, Matt Logic forty four. What's up, man? Are we gonna do? Are we gonna do lunch this week? Let me know. Tommy K. Catchin. Of course, she's hoping that uh, Paul opens some sort of Hot Toys clone trooper tonight. <laughs> uh, we have Rhino Hobbies. We have channel member Bad Wolf Media. How's it going? Frankie Rivera, is that a new name? It says, let's go. Let's do it. What's up, Frankie? Welcome to the show. We're going. Uh, Alexander Eagleson. We have Daniel Sertle. Hello, everyone. Plus, this is the uh, subscription level of greeting to everyone. It's hello, plus. <laughs> He has the best typos. <laughs> like, where's the plus <laughs> next <laughs> on the keyboard next to exclamation mark? Uh, I don't know. A uh, channel member TJ Williams, how are you doing? I think it's been a while, but it's great to see you here again. Prophet 924 digs the intro music. Heck yeah. Micro Galaxy Squadron is here. Cole, we had uh, lots to update this week, and thank you for sharing a lot of that stuff and uh, disseminating. Is that the word? The information. Yeah. Uh, Burnt Vidar Larson, channel member. How's it going? Says Bitter Vader 74. What's going on? Hello, Kevin Paul Yoko Ernie KP. Why? No, it's KY. And yeah, hello, Boba's Crush. KYP. Keep your, pants, keep your pants extra. Uh, the Toy Box of Doom. How's it going? Says, Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Thank you for being here. Peak Obi Wan mm, Mackerson over on Twitch. Uh, Carl and and let's see. Yoko says, we're going to lose. No. What did we're going to lose say? Lady DK is a thing now. Oh, no. It's not. Can't wait to hear Ernie talk about Diddy on Wednesday, says Micro Galaxy Squadron. Rick oh. Jones, welcome, welcome back. And we're... No, Best Car Kid. Best Car Kid was also in your chat last night, Polly. Says, I thought they smelled bad yes, on the was. outside. <laughs> which you don't want to say uh, uh, when you're opening a container to eat churros. Uh, David De La Huerta, Doombot 9000, and catch in. Quinn Collins says, and side underscore nine says, good evening, Boba Squadron. Good evening, uh, good evening yourself. If you have a second, leave a thumbs up on the video. And uh, I think we let everyone know we're, we're live tonight on social media. Um, yeah, it's it's been a crazy week. Paul, do you want to preface the the event that we we went to? I'll, I think you're more uh, since you were the you were the real invitee. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, basically, uh, there was a big event in New York City, especially at the Empire State Building, where all these Star Wars licensees were invited to participate in event in a consumer event that was leading up to. Um, uh, the uh, the the build up to May the fourth, basically Star Wars Day. Uh, it was dubbed the Imperial March, which is a play on words. The month of March. It had the Imperial or Sith theme to it as well, and basically a bunch of companies that had Star Wars licenses uh, licenses uh, were invited to set up displays. Uh, lots of vendors there, um, toy vendors, clothing vendors, uh, games as well. And um, I was invited by Jazzwares, which has their line called the Micro Galaxy Squadron. Uh, I've collaborated with, with them in the past, and uh, they wanted me to come out and check out what they have uh, announced for pre-sale on May the 4th. And they asked, uh, they allowed me to bring a plus one. So uh, Kevin gladly took that invite. Uh, we went together, traveled to New York City. It was a whirlwind, 24 hours, basically. And uh, we got to check out what they had happening at the Empire State Building. Well, indirectly, we tried to get in and then found out we walked the wrong direction and uh, walked about 75% of the way and just kind of gave up and headed over to Times Square instead. But we were invited to the uh, launch party at the Virgin Hotels and they had some great, um, you know, great vendors there. Uh, everyone from Jazzwares, they had Funkos, uh, Lego was there, Hasbro, um, Heroes and Villains was there. Uh, Roosevelt's, so you had Disney Parks, and they all had these wonderful displays. We had members of 501st over there, and the night culminated in a spectacular light show that was displayed 
on the Empire State Building. It was a right. great five minute uh, show um, to music, and um, yeah, no, it was it was a great time, and uh, we got a chance to chat with some uh, industry people, some of whom we'd known from before. Kevin, I know you knew the team over at Hasbro. Um, yes. and we're chatting with them. You got a chance. You got a chance to meet the the new gang over at uh, Jazzwares, uh, myself included. I, I got a chance to meet some of them as well, which was great. And um, yeah, we went toy hunting, and uh, basically just <laughs> burned ourselves out on all this stuff. But uh, one of the highlights was we got a chance to get an advanced look at the Ghost, uh, the Micro Galaxy Squadron's Ghost. Uh, they let us um, handle the proto one of the prototypes. So it was out. Kevin did a wonderful post about it. Um, and so we, yeah, we got a hands-on experience with it. Uh, got to take pictures. Uh, Kevin did a nice review. Uh, this is a, the reveal that's uh, going to be on pre-sale May the 4th on Amazon. There are actually going to be two different versions of the Ghost that are going to be out there. Uh, the Amazon uh, one will be a bundle a version where you get two Y-Wings and the Phantom uh, to go with it. And uh, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And there will be just a regular edition sort of phantom that's going to be released in the big box stores i believe uh and uh as well there's uh, the atte which we did not unfortunately get a uh, our chance to get our hands on but they did have it on right. display uh at their station there so that, that was one of the big highlights uh for that and so yeah we were there in imperial march lots of fun before before we get to other parts of that ridiculous parts of that trip yoko this ship i need your thoughts Dope. yeah i'll buy two probably whoa two and you have the Haslab. yeah i need all the ghosts <laughs> give me all the ghosts well you're gonna want both versions of it because right? they so are they different too the they will be different regular? just like the millennium mm -hmm. falcons was slightly different with different sounds mm -hmm. and effects mm -hmm. the same thing with the ghost and you'll get different crew members in oh, both so okay so at that's least a thing. two <laughs> yeah <laughs> ernie what did you think when you saw this ship crazy how you think one specific product is already doing such a great job at stuff, right? And then, like, they totally up it because I saw, you know, the detail inside and and everything to it. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that, I wasn't expecting insane. that. Right. Like I said, it's already such a That's great so cool. product to have all mm -hmm. of these different ships, right? And how they're giving us ones that we would never thought of. And then you give, Who's drop the ghost and give all these little details to it. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pick this one up um, just because I'm a fan of the show. But also, you got to give credit when it's due on, on a great toy, basically, you know, and support the line. Absolutely. And this is one to show, mm -hmm. like, I'm going to get it, even though I don't collect this line. But because of those aspects, because I want to see this line keep going. But this is something they're doing just barely now, you know? This is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The Great fact reveal. that they put, they put love into it to put um, these yeah. decals and the murals, I think, like for the first time inside a ship. Um, yeah, it, it, I think we we you know as fans, if you're into it, you should respond in kind. Be like, yo, this is cool. We should support yeah. this and buy it, so they get that feedback. Like, oh, people really you know took to this kind of right. uh, level of detail. We we should we should do this more um, or where we can if people are if people are interested. I think most businesses kind of work that way right to see that response yeah and the ship is slightly larger than the millennium millennium falcon so it's true to scale um nice. the different sounds i think uh uh cole you're asking what the different sound boards were, were going to be like they're gonna have different um i i think different engine sounds i know as well they've built it in if like if you shake it it'll make uh, the malfunctioning right. sound which is really really cool <laughs> about it yeah, too. yeah um you know the engines light Jeremy up, was shaking, really awesome. shaking it like this <laughs> yeah. like he was making shake and bake and then the sound activates like it's the, the like paul said the engine failure which it's is really, really great cool. um if you look at the right side of the ship that that's the docking port so you can any any uh micro galaxy squadron ship that has a droid port you can plug it in there so it's like docking with the with the ghost and uh that uh little appendage that's remove. That's like reversible, so you can basically pop it out, flip it over, and hide it on the inside. If you're not, have, if if you just want the clean look with 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 it, uh, uh, with ships being undocked from it, right there. So that's yeah. yeah. So that can be reversible. That door there, you can flip it to the outside, or you can have the the docking port. Um, and it's a really simple swap, which is great. It's secure. Everything clicks into place. 
Um, Paul shook it over his head. It, it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you said there's multiple. There's going to be at least two versions. To yeah. At least. Yeah. Well, they have how many versions of the Millennium Falcon, right? They have the Escape the Death Star. They have uh, Destroy the Death Star. They have the Galaxy uh, Galaxy's Edge version of it. And yeah, there's four, right? There you go. And then just the plain version on its own. And each of those comes with the different figs, right? So yeah, um, yeah you can come, Jack, you can definitely dock two Y Wings. Yeah. So if you look at the top of the photo here, if you if you want to dock a ship, um, you have it, you have the little arm sticking out, and you can do it on both sides. Yeah. And they did have it on display with two Y Wings. Or oh, isn't that is that yeah. a yeah, they have it on display like that yeah. too. They they did uh, in New York. They had they had that, uh, which was so cool to see. And um, yeah, and the you know caveat is too you you need to buy the the Phantom separately. Um, and I think the Phantom will have uh, its its own indiv individual figs as well. So if you want the complete Ghost Crew, uh, I believe Hopefully the both bundle. Phantom. What's that? Hopefully, we get both Phantoms too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just because yeah. you're getting. You know, two different versions of the ghost. It yeah, only right. makes sense that they would do that, right? Um, that would be cool. Yeah. So these will be available for pre-order May the fourth on Star Wars mm -hmm. Day. So you know, everybody get ready for that. <laughs> Kev, can you ready. demonstrate shaking it again? <laughs> Thank you. It's also, I could be a gunner on a ship, but this is how right. he was shaking it. <laughs> yeah. I know what I, I know what I see in my mind, but that's, that's what, I don't know what it looks like to everybody else. Um, yeah, so also, yeah, I've heard people mention the the black wash or the the on the lines in the ship, the details, but someone also mentioned the one on display um, in in the event was a little bit different. So I don't know if they painted it differently for different scenarios. Maybe maybe this one is a little bit um, more more darker to make make the details pop, but I'm not sure how the final. Final the one, the one on display was a different prototype. Was an earlier prototype. Uh, the um, the the front cockpit area was much larger on the display one. If you looked at it, um, and again, this is a prototype, so it might not be the final look in terms of the paint application. They're, they're still refining it, um, but it'll, this will be pretty close to it, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, that was one of the cool things that we saw. Um, part of the trip. There's a lot of cool merch. Um, at, can I? Should we go to the airport part? No, let's talk about the part where uh, <laughs> you met some fans at the event, Paul. Uh, we met. You, you've all seen the Star Wars uh, Hasbro live streams with the team, and uh, one, one of the marketers was there, Jing, and and we were chatting, and um, she's like, "Oh, I'm, she's like, what are you doing here?" I'm like, "I'm here with Paul. Like, I'm his guest." And she's like, "Oh my god, I didn't know he was here." Uh, so I brought her over. To introduce her to Paul, uh, because we did the May the Fourth stream together uh, a couple of years ago, and a couple um, of years ago, a couple of years ago, and so uh, after the trip on the way back, and Paul's like, I, I think, I don't think they like me very much. I'm like, no, no way. She wanted to meet you. She said like, come. It's like, can you know? Can you introduce me? So I brought you over. He's like, yeah, but after that, after that, he was pretty. Uh, <laughs> after she met me. <laughs> Was because I was, everything might have changed. I, you know, I was just being really tongue in cheek. It was all really nice to meet you. I didn't place who she was. Uh, she said, "Oh, we did a stream together on May the fourth. You're so nice." And I went, "That's great. Yeah, I've done a lot of streams on May fourths, and it wasn't." And she looked familiar. I didn't know who it was. And then I found out she worked for Hasbro, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, right." And then I said, "Where's my figure, Hasbro?" Um, and so I, I, I think I. I did say that to every Hasbro person I met <laughs> that Good night. Good job. Good job. I did. And I was sober. It's not like I was drunk. I was like, ah, I was being belligerent. <laughs> I said it. And, but the thing is, I was joking. And, uh, you know, it was in the spirit of, hey, like Bart Simpson, where's my elephant? Where's my elephant type thing? Uh, and I think it made them all really uncomfortable. And I actually did say to each and every one of them, I said, you do realize I am joking when I say that, right? But they all looked like I'd farted in their faces, right? Oh so it was God. just like, okay, okay. But then the Hasbro team, they actually came up to me and said, uh, we don't have permission to, to broadcast your likeness or this or that. 
we want you to record a message. And this is for all the other Hasbro, uh, for the Hasbro people. And can you just say who you are and ask where your figure is? And so I did. Um, and so, I, you know, they're on board. I think it's one of those things where they're, I mean, Yoko, you've pointed this out too, and I think you're absolutely right. They do what they're told. They don't make the decisions. They say, you, you know, people from above say, you do this. And then they're in front of the cameras. They're on the front lines. They're at the, uh, you know, the tip of the spear, and they have to deal with everybody like, you know, like me saying, where's my figure? Uh, and they have no answers, right? You're muted. Yeah, so you're very muted. <laughs> Dang it. And so, you know, it was, but the message was great because it was like, you know, I said, hey, I'm Paul Sun Young Lee. I'm in Mandalorian seasons two and three. I'm in the book of Boba Fett. I'm in Ahsoka. Where's my figure, Hasbro? Like, what do I got to do uh, to get it? Like, I'm sorry, I don't, you know, I'm not in it for 30 seconds piloting an E Wing. So <laughs> maybe you could cut me some slack. Right. So they're like, that guy was very specific. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, and I did mention it's like you even have figures lined up for a show that hasn't even aired yet. Mm -hmm. You got the whole acolyte line set up to go. So right. Good. So, anyways, <laughs> you're not wrong. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not a thing. It's not um, a thing. It, it, it was a fun trip, though, and I want to, again, thank you for inviting me on. It's like, I, I don't know if you've ever done a toy kind of like invite thing trip like that before, but I certainly haven't. And um, the tag along, it, it, was, it was crazy. And to chat with the whole Jazzerus team was really cool. Uh, but we did yeah. have a lot of fun. Um, I, I put out a video over on my Patreon of, of the whole vlog of the trip. But one thing that wasn't on there was a really odd event. Yoko, prepare yourself, okay? So we're leaving the airport, and I go to the the security check, and uh, I hand him my passport. And the guy uh, looks at me. He doesn't look. He's not Asian, but he looks at he. I think he looked at the passport first. He looks at me. He goes, he goes, Zosan, which is Cantonese for good morning. So he didn't just go with like Mandarin, which is probably more uh, global, you know, universal at the point. But he saw. Uh, I think I think you're, it does say place of birth on the passport. It so does. A passport. Yeah. So he said, he looks at me, he goes, Dosan. And I was so caught off guard. I was like, oh, yeah, thanks. You too. Uh, and then when I walked away, I'm like, oh, shoot, what just happened? And then Paul <laughs> steps up and Paul hands him his passport. And then in a split second, he looks at Paul and he's like, Anyang Haseo. And I'm like, whoa, this guy's good. <laughs> but I didn't know if he had looked at your passport. At that point, I didn't know if he looked at your passport yet or not or if he was just profiling based Asians? on you know based on our look and paul's like not afterwards he's like no 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 like he it, it's got our uh place of birth and everything on there so i'm like but that guy was still pretty pretty like accurate um but i i do want to do like ernie if you were the if you were the security agent right in that case would you do you think you'd be prepared for those kind of scenarios I was the agent. Yeah, if you were the security agent, and I saw you guys, and I have to talk to you. Yeah, would you like? Could you handle yourself if there were other uh, other languages or ethnicities involved? Wh which ones would you be equipped to do? Like, if Yoko came up, what would you say to her? You you got the passport, yeah, and you this, see, that, and this is a trick question too. You see McCann, right? And McCann, I'm like, place of birth is Hong Kong, <laughs> right? But it's McCann, and so I'm like, top of the morning to you. And <laughs> I'm like, go ahead and go through. Because, you know, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to misrepresent her Irishness mm -hmm. in there either. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be number one. Yeah. yeah. It, it would be. So. <laughs> Nailed it. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fair. So that would be. It's like Yoko McCann. You understood the um, assignment. Um. Uh, Ohio, uh, top of the yeah. morning. <laughs> yeah, top of the morning to you. No, no four leaf clover in here. And then Look you it. know, yeah, Hong Kong Stupid place good. of birth. What the? <laughs> yeah. Can we get security? And here? then as she walks by, yeah, as she walks by, you can go. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, because I I missed it. Yeah. She's like, I, I speak did. English. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, and then what ha what happened with that other line, Paul? We were in line, and oh god, we, we, we oh find, yes, <laughs> we couldn't find so, where to go. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. 
So we both had to see ticket agents because we didn't book our tickets. Right. And the, the person at Jazzwares who did, and this happens a lot for whatever reason, they listed both middle middle or our you know our, our ethnic names <laughs> with the last name. So they think my name is my last name is Sun Hyung Lee. And so when I present my document, when I try to check in online, they said that's not your your names don't match. It's like oh. So you have to go to a ticket agent and you have to explain to them and they look at your passport and they scold you and stuff. And you say, well, I didn't book the ticket. Well, you should check. And I said, I did check. And I was told about well, anyways, it's it always happens. So we're at JFK. We're looking around. We both have to do it. And we're trying to find a ticket agent. And this woman comes up and says, what are you what are you doing? Like, what are you looking for? I said, oh, we need to get help to, to fix this this uh, this login error. Basically, they put our, our middle names as our last names. Yeah. So she said, oh, come over here to this line and make us go to this this line. And it took me a couple of minutes to sort of cue in. It was different. And I'm looking and I'm standing there and, uh, you know, we're waiting. And it's like this. There's a big sign and it's got a big it's got the wheelchair sort of access thing to it on it. So it's like for for people who are differently abled. And then I'm looking and then somebody uh, another person said, do you need a wheelchair? And the one was a yes, yes. And she sat down and I started looking around and realized everybody in line needed some sort of physical assistance because they were really old or just infirm. And then I suddenly realized, fuck. She thought, I'm, she thought it's super old. She thought I was a senior <laughs> and I needed extra help. So I was, she said, you guys go in that line. Oh, no. And this guy came up and was like, hey, what are you here for? <laughs> it's like, well, we're just getting... <laughs> There, I, we were told to go here. It's like, yeah, okay. It walks by, but we, it it suddenly dawned on me. It's like, yeah, they think I'm like super old and need a wheelchair to sit down on, so we we have to go in this line. Oh no! I I just it remember was... standing there, you know, looking, flipping through my phone, minding my own business, and then I hear Paul go, "Do you think they asked me over here because they think I, I'm old?" I'm like, what? I look around, and then the lady behind us was in a wheelchair, and then like two people in front of us were getting into the wheelchair, and then that that's why that comment was so out of nowhere. And, but he doesn't look, you know, he's like looks like how he does now: baseball cap, glasses, just walking with a backpack, and that's the thing, man. <laughs> and here's Kevin. Look, where's this man's chair? Where's it at? Maybe, maybe he looked really lost because we were like, oh, what year? <laughs> we were walking in the right direction. Because then I saw where we should have been, and if she just let us walk there, we we would have found it, right? So, oh, press pass. Carl says you should have taken advantage yeah. of that. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, yeah, it, it it was a fun trip. We're gonna have I have more videos and photos to put out, so make sure you check those out. Um, but you did mention they have acolyte figures to go with yep. the trailer that just dropped, and the show's not even out yet. Should we risk demonetization of, of this video and see what's going on with this trailer? Wait, do we need Yoko? Do we normally do this with audio? Yeah, I think we, we, do, we right? just have to we just have to pause every so often. All right, let's do trial and error. And we'll uh risk it again. All YouTube, right, we'll do every we're reviewing, eight... we are reacting. Everyone do a react face. That should be on the Here's thumbnail. our reaction to the Acolyte official trailer from Disney Plus. And you, Strictly David reaction. Says, Kevin, you should have said I need a wheelchair for my <laughs> Get this man's chair. Get him Can a blanket. Imagine? Can you imagine if we tried that? If I got <laughs> and like <laughs> pretended to fall down, like be really infirm. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, just start screaming at people. My back, my legs. You my could throw it in there too. Coins. My coins. Who has my coins? Who has my coins? <laughs> Back in my day, they had a monorail for this. Like the time I went to Disney. <laughs> Mechanize put you on first. Mechanize says you should have asked for your figure. <laughs> Where's my figure? See that shaggy four Star Wars. There you go. See that those those two are gonna get their figures before I do. <laughs> right there, yes. right off the bat. Look at them. So cute. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Wish me luck. I'm gonna count like one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. 
You just look at the counter. <laughs> Listen, get back into the wheelchair <laughs> line, Grandpa. Or that too. Back in my day, we used our eyes to look at the timers. <laughs> I had an internal clock. Hey, what's up, Trevor? What's the shooter? Legendary poser. Hasbro Senior Series. <laughs> oh, my God. I will be a senior by the time they release the figure. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have closed captioning, too. What if I do super low volume? Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. Hey, that guy's yeah. eyes it was closed. You know all the memes where they said close your eyes and his eyes were open? Oh, it was a different alien. Is it a different alien? Sorry. Yeah. You'll see it. We must not trust them. Ooh. Tell me what comes into your Oh, that Rodian looking dude? Yeah. This looks Life. so good. Balance. I see fire. <laughs> I see fire! <laughs> His eyes are. <laughs> do his eyes, do his eyes close? I don't know. That's a great I question. I don't see now. He has eyelids. No <laughs> eyelids. Does Aww. Greedo ever blink? I don't think so. Well, things I've never thought about. Think, he should have seen yeah. ready to shoot him. So that's a really Ralph Wiggum sort of moment. I think <laughs> that's all I heard. <laughs> stand no. down, and then Ralph <laughs> I doesn't see stand. fire. <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> it's like I'm a star balance. Wars. You know. Also, I had no I idea Trinity. I had no idea Trinity was in this until the trailer. Yeah. Same. I didn't either. Yeah. Here Is for it? it. Was this the like the first news of it? No. She'd or been announced. Carrie Ann Moss. Okay. Correct. I didn't know it was her until somebody pointed it out. You didn't realize that was her? No. Huh. Not until uh somebody else pointed it out to me. And then I rewatched it and I was like, oh, it is Trinity. You're the opposite of everybody. Yeah. Every yeah. No, well, I mean, his track record for recognizing certain features of people <laughs> isn't the most sterling. I would imagine he reacted the same way when he found out that Yoko was half Japanese. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? And he rewatches the videos. Oh, it is. So she, like, she, looks exactly, she looks exactly the same, though, doesn't she? Like, I feel yeah, like she looks, yeah. she does. She looks right. <laughs> nope. Didn't see it. <laughs> Again, we are not surprised. <laughs> Yo! Sorry, that force was push. really cool. That was a CQC and Force Push. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. That's how look alike. What happened? I sensed the dark. Also, Paul. Yes, sir. You can't be mad that Korean Jedi got a figure before you. No, absolutely not. I mean, right. I, I the first my first reaction was like <gasps> Korean Jedi. Like I was uh, all on board for this one. Like I saw I saw him. I love him. Lee Jong Jae is he's he's a great actor, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's really cool how, um, like I read how she was looking for. Who, who could play the lead in this this character. Right. And she saw Squid Games and just loved the, his range. And so she was like, that, mm -hmm. that's it. This is the first time he he's performed in English. Oh. oh. Actually, yeah. Oh. So this is that's that's another thing I'm really looking forward to see. That sounds awesome. We'll see. <laughs> Whoa. I'm That's excited for this. him. That looked Which like DK. Him. Oh, DK? A little bit. This Man. is me at the supermarket when I walk in and the doors open. Wait, wait, That's you everybody. just gloss over him. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going back. Oh, all right. Who is he, from, Yoko? Um, from a good place. Uh, oh. um, shoot, I'm like on his name. Manny Jacinto the, or something like that? Jacin Jacin Jacinto? Yes. Jacinto. I think so. But I'm excited to see. I mean, I've only seen him in a good place, and he's like so great on that show. So it'll yeah. be interesting to see him in a, I assume, a more serious role, more stoic. Looks very serious. Yeah. And sorry, so um, that it looks like there's a time jump, uh, or there's some flashbacks just because 
uh, Lee Jung Jae or Master Saul. He's got short oh, hair. Short hair. He's got the bob cut. So is this a flashback to the past? I think there's gonna oh, be. Oh yeah, it has to be. You know, nice, nice catch. There you go, man. Oh, I can now cosplay as him. There you go. <laughs> He's also Wookiee with a, a top knot, too. Yeah. That's yeah. Yunas Swarmo. Is that Gunji's dad? This isn't about good or bad. Oh, yeah. It's the same uh, actor for sequels Chewbacca, right? That's correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's correct. This is about power and who is allowed to use it. Whoa. What is that? This part here. <laughs> Whoa, he launched all of them. Or she. June 4th, two episode premiere. Dang. Is this- Disney Plus. Holy crap. I That looked like movie level, didn't it? That trailer? Like the, the quality, I, I don't know. The, they all just, do now, just, though. Everything, yeah. Right, they all do. It, you know that's that's the thing. They're, they're TV, especially with the budget, like uh, on, on a lot of these streaming shows, you could you could totally show them in, in screen them in movie theaters, and they would not look out of place. In fact, they probably look better. Um, you know, just remember watching the the premiere for Mando season three at the El Capitan, and it was just like watching two episodes, uh, and it was it was it it felt so right for it to be on the big screen. So. Sorry, I was muted. But along with that, um, Carl says, you, I'm pumped. It looks. Can yes. you pull up Bad Wolf Media's comment, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're both bookies doesn't mean they're related. You don't have to be so on brand. It's, it could work. Wookiees are very old. I think that ties into Jesus. Winger Loose's earlier comment. Ernie can turn right. down any request for jury. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so first up, we fair. have <laughs> I treat everyone the same. <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> Uh, first up, there's a vintage collection from the Acolytes Jedi Master Saul. Soul? Saul? I don't know. Uh, TV, this looks like a, oh, digitally rendered. Um, I'm going to grab these. Yeah. And TVC has a sep- separate blade to go with the hilts and soft goods. But also still the the gun hand on the left. Again, stop me at any time if you have anything to point out for these figures. I'm going to try to roll through these. There's also a... They've also changed some of the packaging up, too. There's this Padawan. Padawan Jackie Lawn. This is Black Series. Yeah, this is Black Series. Um, There's this one where a lot of people messaged me and said, Kevin, you got to figure, you got to figure... How did this happen? And it, it, I felt bad because I was with Paul at the time when people were sending this to me. And apparently at first glance, this kind of looks like me. Um, I don't know if it's the hair or the face or both. But even Paul said, just from the thumbnail, it, it kind of looked like me. <laughs> Yoko, it does? For like, Yeah, like, I think the figure looks like you. I feel like seeing the character in the trailer doesn't look like you. You no. know? <laughs> but the toy does look like you. And I'm not going to answer that question. Especially if you look at it from a distance. <laughs> I'm just going to pass that question. Nice, Ernie. <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's set up when I see one. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe this will be the new cosplay. He has, he's got gauntlets, like something on, his, uh, on the back of his wrist, too. So it's not just um, a plain old Jedi... Jedi buck for this. I think there's some updates. Um, hey, what's that up, Brick? Something. I want to see your hair. <laughs> what a show off. 
<laughs> you, didn't, you gotta do it in slow mo next time. <laughs> Nervesa Krista. Is that the theme song in the background? Yeah. And this is Trinity's character. Mm -hmm. soft, soft, good cloaks. Jedi Master Saul in Black Series. And Black Series May Assassin, which we saw. I think that was the one in the hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat in the trailer. Jigs mm -hmm. Fig says it's better than my selfie series. I did, <laughs> I did say to Jing when we were there, I said, thanks for making my figure. Where did you get my likeness from? Mm -hmm. So I did, I did question that. Um, they did also announce a, what's that, hologram collection for you know, the holocom, Darth Vader and Darth Maul, I believe. Mm -hmm. Did I miss anything else, uh, Ernie? There was another vintage. There was two oh, vintage. Here. This one, and, May. Yes, there you go. There it is. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish figures for the new show. Yes. Just saying. And I'm still not... Okay, so I know you collect vintage. So are you getting you're getting the two vintage, right? It's just two you got to pre order and get. Um, I don't know yeah. about everybody else, but I'm not getting any of the black series or anything. I'm still very being still very selective. I, I don't know the show. And before, as a Star Wars collector, you'd buy everything. And this time, no, I'm I'm not going to. I'm gonna wait. There's still only a saber with it, no other effects, no force hands, yeah. no nothing else. Um I'll just I'll just patiently wait and see what happens, but I'm not in on on any of it. But I'm super stoked about the trailer and the show, though. But as far as this goes, no. Yeah, you're right. It's still it's still one lightsaber. Yeah, the and that's the, it. And you know what? Like the soft goods, it's soft goods, but that doesn't necessarily. No, I feel like it's, it's too good. late now. Yeah. So I think if it stays at the same price point, which I don't see them dropping prices ever. I yeah. feel like that's like a sign of weakness, <laughs> unless unless it. But it seems to have worked for Jazzwares. They're like embracing that, but I don't think like those Hasbro or something would drop the price like that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, you're right. I'll probably wait for a vintage collection for the rest of the Jedi. Yoko, are you waiting for the show before you? I'm buy? waiting for the show. Yeah, I'm kind of with Ernie, which is weird to say, but um, yeah. Like, you know, I don't co-host the show, by the way. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to buy them when uh, I have no attachment to them, you know, so I'll wait and see. But I am also super excited for the show. I think it looks fun. Paul, are you going to get both versions of um, Master Soul? No. Zero I'm versions? Just... No, I'll, I'll get the, uh, the TVC, but uh, I'm I'm boycotting Black Series. There. Till I get my figure, Hasbro. <laughs> Till no. I get my figure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Yoko, someone brought this up the other day, and uh, well, last last night, and I don't know if it's true or hearsay or heresy, but are you playing this Star Wars Unlimited? I'm, I kind of, I kind of want to. So when I was at Emerald City, um, which was like the day before I left for Japan. Um, they were there, but like to get the cards, you had to like sign up for their tournament, which was, you know, so there were only certain time slots. And you know, I, I had, I found them at the end of the day. So I like, I couldn't, I don't know that I would have signed up to play anyway, but I, I, I couldn't buy the cards. Um, so if I, if I find them, I probably wouldn't be able to resist, you know, but I am kind of all in on Lorcana. So I'm a little bit, uh, apprehensive about getting into a second card game, mm -hmm. you know, but. I'd be tempted. I kind of want to see them at least. Yeah, I'll I'll do a unbox of these yeah. later on. Um, but while you're here, do you want to? Uh, you know, you set up, you help set up something for the channel. Uh, do you want to be the one to talk about it? That was our special announcement for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, even, I I figured you would know. And then uh, someone said on Instagram, <laughs> "What a special announcement!" And I thought you were playing along. <laughs> no. I realized later, but I was like, I don't know, it's not a special announcement to me because I already knew what it was. Um, but no, we are excited. We are we have landed our first sponsor, <laughs> and um, uh, we'll be working with Heroes and Villains, which I'm very excited about. I am a huge fan of the brand. 
Um, mm-hmm. And I'm wearing a Heroes and Villains. I'm I'm 95% sure this is a Heroes and Villains shirt. Um, <laughs> Off to a but, good start. But um, oh. I've, you know, I, I rock their gear a lot. Like that Rogue Squadron jacket I was wearing in the uh, slow-mo video, in the Paul Helmet video. <laughs> right. Um, that's an example of a jacket from Heroes and Villains. And I love them. Uh, I got to know them through work, really. But um, but I, I submitted Boba Squadron as a podcast partner and they they approved us so it's super exciting clues are on the way guys so oh and on that note we do have a promo code so you guys can yes. save 20 percent on your first order yeah 20 percent off yeah. of your first heroes and villains order with code boba 20 yeah. and it's one use per email so if you look in uh, the youtube video description uh now, now, as I hit save, there should be a link there for you to go. And if you want to go buy stuff later, they ha- and it's not just for Star Wars stuff. Um, when they were in New York Comic Con, they had their X Men series. X Men uh, collections, stuff. pretty sweet. Yeah. X Men collections, awesome. They had a Varsity yeah. Xavier's Institute uh, jacket that sold out, and I think it's still been it's still sold out. So, um, it, a lot of fan fan gear, like a lot of the times, if you want to, you know, show your fandom at conventions and everywhere it's not always the best looking stuff you're like yeah it's too nerdy but like this their their stuff blends together really well and it's really really good quality there's backpacks it's good quality there. stuff yeah there's my sabine hoodie yeah oh it's great i i yeah. absolutely love heroes and villains uh corinne and i also have a lot of it and that's the thing with heroes and villains that's why i was so super stoked to hear about this and also be like proud of it is because no matter mu- how much you nerd out they have you covered in all different scenarios, just from a hat to a bag to T-shirts, jackets, hoodies. Uh, there's even fet chonies on there, uh, beanies. There's everything. Socks. Like they have you covered in in your way of representing any type of different they fandom have satin that you love. Pajamas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so from Star Wars to Mar, and I saw that one when you guys went to New York. I thought that was so dope. The new Which one? Uh, the Thrawn jacket. Yes, that Thrawn jacket mm. is crazy. So yeah, um, I have lots of hero villains hat. It's my on my top of my list. They're usually at a lot of cons that you guys go yeah. to, mm-hmm. and I love the hats that they have there. Corinne has different bags and shirts, just like Yoko. So mm-hmm. yeah, I was super stoked to hear about this. So guys, please go use the code, and then don't forget to share it as well too, because let them know like we really love this stuff. So. Yeah, look at the uh, fandoms they have here. Star Wars, DC, yeah. Marvel, Dungeons and Dragons, Star Trek, and there's always new stuff. I think they just put out a Scarlet Witch um collection today and they already have a Bad Batch one uh going on right now that they already have. So, um yeah, if you're into that stuff while we're watching Bad Batch, go check it out. James Howlett, it's 20% off of your first order not one item or email so like the i I've, I've seen other influencers say this so i think it's okay but like you can you can reuse the code you just have to check out with a different email address and mm. i believe it stacks with their sales though so if they're if they have a sale going you can get extra 20 percent off using our code so keep that in mind extra savings yeah that the hats are awesome very cool um, I love the Spider-Man. They even have like basic stuff, guys. Like there's this basic Spider-Man hoodie that they have. I mean, uh, um, Windbreaker. Like I'm waiting for that to come back in stock. And keep checking on the stuff that you guys like too because it does go in and out of stock. So oh, don't think it? maybe I missed it. Um, if you keep rechecking, it, it pops in and out. So that's another cool thing as well. Heck yeah. So heroesvillains.com. Link is in the video description. 20% off your first order with code BOBA20. And uh, thanks, Yoko, for, you know, uh, running point on that. And um, we're here. We got it. I'm excited. Excited to see you. I'm super sweat. excited. Yeah. I think I next week we need lightsabers. Hopefully next week we'll be. We'll be uh, lightsaber. Fitted. Up. Yeah. Properly fitted. fitted. Yeah. And uh, one last thing before we get into Bad Batch, April 7th, of course, there's the Toying Around Toy Con presented by eCollectibles. 
uh, it's I think it's just like a mini celebration that I'm throwing, but that I get to hang out with my friends there. But uh, Polly's going to be there as a guest appearance. There's going to be Cal Dodd, who is the voice of Wolverine on X Men '97 and X Men: The Animated Series. Um, e Collectibles obviously is a e tailor selling toys here in Canada. Ships to the U.S. They're the main sponsor. They're going to have a booth there. Uh, just announced yesterday, McFarland Toys will be exhibiting toys uh, on site and doing some giveaways. Comic book artists, local vendors. Um, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. April 7th, if you're around, if you want to make the trip up here uh, to Ontario, Canada, the website is toyingaround.ca and you can get tickets there or at the door. And I'm really excited for this. John Takis, there will be tickets at the door just in time. <laughs> Perfect. Don't you have a contest going on too to win some? Uh, there's two outlets, the CCYAA and First Reviews on Instagram. Uh, we're running promos. You can win. Uh, each one of those outlets has five free passes for admission. If you want to, uh, if you want to try your hand at winning uh, a, a pass, there general mm -hmm. admission. And I have more guests and announcements and giveaways to announce. So check it out on Instagram. Follow the website toyingaround.ca and uh the next episode why are any you other promotions squadron out kev the rest of us flying out <laughs> what yeah we gotta wait for this heroes and villains thing to pan out first just <laughs> just wait here. to our next sponsor canada mm -hmm. airlines thank you for bringing That'd be great actually the yeah. boba squadron to huge. us your Canada, we should work on that. Mm -hmm. We need to um, that way we could stream live more often. Come on, Air Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Do they just pick up words from the internet? Air and, Canada, and know, yeah, yeah, and know they're yeah. being mentioned. Yeah, I think so. I think that's how it I'd works. go. Yeah, you need a passport, Ernie. So, like, yeah, I can have my cousin Chewy passport. give me one tomorrow. We're good to go. You just tell me when. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> I'm good to go. <laughs> nah, man. Look at everybody trying to take my place. I'm good to go. I can get one. Mm, okay. All right. Let's not do traveling. This. Not traveling with you, so that's fine. You're not gonna meet me. I'll meet you there. I'm not traveling with you. Oh, I was gonna like fly to you first. Don't call me Ernie though. Oh. You gotta call me Juan. Or an L. And then we'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Just remember that. If I ever see you in an airport, yeah. What's up, Juan? It's Juan. And okay. We're fine. Yeah. Okay. Why did you just call him Juan when his passport says McCann? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I'm Juan McCann, her Irish <laughs> brother. When don't my, you see it? When my <laughs> when my ancestors moved here from Ireland. Oh and they were asked, what's your last name? <laughs> I said, you know what? Let's go with McKay. Yeah. Uh, Yoko can push Ernie in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long that would last. I mean, she could drive for a little bit, but then she's like, can we get this guy an electric scooter? Hey, yeah, I don't skip like day. I can do it. Oh, all right. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Chewbacca. That is my cousin Chewy. Ernesto Fett, por favor. <laughs> Please you can call me that. Thank you. All right. We have uh, Bad Batch season three, episode eight. Once again, big thank you to Winger Luz, who has provided us with um, some screenshots. Coming through again. Exactly. And I All don't want to diminish the hard work that he's put in. But I said this to Yoko earlier, and uh, I feel like you can sum up this. Was I wrong? I, you can sum up this episode and summarize it in two sentences, maybe three. I, I, don't, I, don't, I'm not I don't. I don't. I don't want. Credit. I don't want to support that because I don't want to okay. get yelled at by cat. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just words on a screen. That's fine. <laughs> it's just words on a screen. Um, all right. So from the last episode, uh, they realize now uh, that they have to find out why Omega is being um, 
What's the, what's her connection with M Count and why they want her back for that reason? Oh, Katchin says this is my least favorite episode so far. All right, so sentence one. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not going to read. So uh, they they contact Fee and there are some some scenes where Crosshair is like, "Who's this? Who's that?" And yeah. it, it was just that's a fun little thing to see him catch up and how much he's missed with the whole team. I I liked how Omega tried to describe her. I can't I can't remember what she said, but a liberator said? of. A liberator of uh, uh, antiques or something. Antiques or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Antiqui- or tech. Uh, Antiquity- antiquities? Yeah. Crosshair was like, what? Okay, she's a pirate. Pirate. She's yeah. A pirate. yeah. That made me laugh. Yeah. yeah. She's a pirate. <laughs> and the very pointed, a lot's happened since you've been away. Um, <laughs> it was like, yeah. sorry, I was being brainwashed and tortured. <laughs> right. See, Paul, that's passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I was being aggressive aggressive yesterday. Very oh, right, direct. Right. Just overtly. <laughs> He's just being an overtly overt asshole instead of just a passive aggressive one. <laughs> it's only only speed that I could move at. Right. Uh, but they're they're asking her to find out um how, you know, what more connections they can find about M count. And uh, I think she recommends uh some bounty hunters that have dealt with to these people and of course there's focus on um crosshairs hand glitch that we've talked about and i think that's one of the two main storylines in this episode mm. because we have been questioning how did that happen was is it because of torture is it because of all the time there is he just deteriorating what could it be um so but they end up linking up with and then thank you winger lose but again flipping through these they end up well sorry i just want to point out too it is interesting that fee did mention tier one bounty hunters so not yeah. like your your rookies or like the scum of the earth like you know ambulance chasing sort of down on their luck like the the top of the top which is why they have to go after fennec shan because that's the only one they kind of had any experience with right so they, there's For... a i just want to point that out just a little bit of that True. Um, yeah, somebody who's skilled enough that the Empire or any of those yeah. pro- uh, entities would contact. Yeah, like not one of those loser, you know, tier four guys like Boba Fett. And, uh, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't get to knock Boba on this one because StarWars.com <laughs> had their own um, que- questionnaire, whatever it is. And they said, what, what bounty hunter would you like to be working with? And right. Boba Fett won. I will have you know he blew away everybody. Yeah, so, but uh, Ernie, that's because you spent the last two weeks just entering yeah. the same thing in again and again and again. <laughs> we all know so, that. And besides, so all those we emails, know it's not, yeah, it's not really Boba Fett. It's Commander Cody. We all know <laughs> that. All those emails that Ernie's using for the 20% off yeah. Heroes and Villains, he's using each yeah. one of those to submit an answer for Boba Fett. That's why. <laughs> who Who was that kid? One. He still won. Who was that kid that uh, did the mission with with Fennec Shan in in Mandalorian? Oh, uh, um, Rolo Talico, something Talico. Um, yeah. Oh, he wasn't even in the Nico guild, right? He was, no, or... no. He he was trying Rocko to get into the guild. Like that. Yeah, he was yeah. trying to get into the something guild. Talico. The wannabe Han Solo dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, like how he was posed in in that that cantino. Yeah, I think it's Rolo. Is it Rolo? Can you imagine if that? Doombot? Can you imagine if this is Boba Fett's like catchphrase every time he leaves? He's like, "You can always bet on Fett." <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so bad. Honestly, I might, I might respect him a little bit more. And then he does the gun hand. He does the gun hand <laughs> wink to the. You can yeah. always. You can always bet on fat. He has to spin it like his dad, though, first. He has to spin it like his dad and then catch it and do the wink. Yeah. Or spin it after. Yeah. You can always bet on fat. That would be great. I want that hat now. Toro Calican. Toro Calican. That's it. Toro Toro. Calacan. Calacan and Calacan. Um, All right. Good point. Yeah, this this episode was really dark, too. Uh, that it was tier one bounty hunters, Yoko. Yeah, uh, hanging out at the bar. Yeah, well, that they oh, had to call. Fennec was. Hmm. Also, I loved uh, 
Fennec's voice this whole episode. It was it was so just kind of cool, controlled, but also very sinister. But you, like but when you really listen to the the voiceover, it was awesome. Um, this Rodian dude gets the bum gets a bum deal, and uh, they they end up. Fennec says, "You know, I'll help you guys out if you help me with." The, the, the usual tit for tat of like the mission kind of the mission of the week oh, i'll help you get to where you need but first you got to do this for me and that gives us our second storyline even though they've had um dealings they've crossed paths in the past and i like the distinction they're like i didn't lose omega i let her go because whoever uh contracted me to find her mm-hmm. ended the contract which was nala nala say nala say uh, so they they have to go after another bounty. Hunter and Wrecker have to go help her um, in this swampland. Uh, back on the island, they're trying to figure out they're having crosshair scanned, and they find out physically there's nothing wrong with him. Uh, and then Omega suggests maybe there's something mentally blocking you that's causing your hand to to tremor. Now let's say the most peaceful of the cloners. Let's hire a bounty hunter to kidnap a child and bring her to back. To protect the child. <laughs> Remember this one? I brought you a helmet. <laughs> there you go. Man, I missed that joke. <laughs> uh, that's the target that they have to go after. I think his name is inconsequential. Uh, <laughs> well... Like, no, there there is a fun link for the reason why he that that particular um, character is wanted, mm-hmm. uh, and that link was I I just saw it. Uh, he is known as the something Slayer, and uh, that's tied into the video game uh, with with Cal Kestis, uh, Jedi um, Fallen oh, Order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's one of those uh, syndicate houses. That he's gone into, so he's killed right. one of them, and like so, they're they're after him. So I thought that was pretty cool, little crossover event. Blink and you miss it. Somebody like I, I saw a post on that, which I thought was really cool. And we saw the mantis body in a new hope in the cantina. That mm-hmm. was one of the creatures in the background. So that's oh. cool to see it as a bounty hunter, right? One of these characters that push you off a cliff, Paul. <laughs> no, I fell off on my own. <laughs> I didn't need help from somebody pushing me off a cliff. I would just fall off on my own. Stupid wall runner. (laughs) Yoko's actually getting uh, gotten really good at the wall run. Thank you. A lot of that's very generous, but thank you. (laughs) Well, I mean, you know, you have gotten a lot relatively, right? Yes, yes, it's all relative. It would have been surprising if you had gotten worse because I don't think. That would have been okay. Awesome. All right, no, let's just okay, stop. Too much? I've gotten better. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're 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 doing great. <laughs> yeah, you're so good. <laughs> Thank you. You're so good. Um, any anything from this jungle river scene that speaks out to you guys, other than two dozen mines that they have to um, disarm? There's these. They remind me of Killer Croc, or who's the big Croc from Ninja Turtles that comes out? All of the all of the Gators that come out and attack them but it's a really exciting scene and and they get to the end and they end up getting the the bounty mm-hmm. uh omega decides to do some meditation with crosshair to see uh, to get him to relax and to see if it's a mental thing to help with his uh his hand did they end up fixing it i don't even know they, they they go through they meditation no, this, is the, he yeah. misses. this is before he, right that's yeah. before meditation yeah, and he's surprisingly open to suggestion, which I right. I, I thought was pretty because you know it's I, I thought they might follow the suit where it's like no I don't and like he keeps saying no until something bad really bad happens and he's like all right I'll try it right um but he he just actually just which I think shows how much it is bothering him as well mm-hmm. that he's yeah. he's wanting to he he's willing to to try this so. Um, I, I think that's lovely, the fact that he's trusting Omega more and more. Mm-hmm. I, I love the part where she grabbed his hand. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was an awe moment. 
in the deleted scene, he freaks out and snaps her wrist. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a natural reaction. <laughs> you touched me. <laughs> Why would they animate that? <laughs> <laughs> it's best not to ask questions, Kevin. Yeah. Textures and everything? No. Why would they animate that? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Better question is why did they take it out? <laughs> Another uh, dark episode. Very dark. Bad Wolf says Apocalypse now in space. There you go. Is that a good uh, uh, the boat comparison? Scene. Yeah. Yoko, have you seen Apocalypse now? I don't think so. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Something to watch between uh, this and Acolyte, if there's any gaps. Yeah, it's an experience. Like, I, yeah. I if you're going to watch Apocalypse Now, watch Hearts, uh, Hearts of Darkness, which is the documentary on the making of Apocalypse Now, and you'll see how really messed up that entire production was. Um, Can I borrow maybe one of the 10 Blu-ray versions that you have? Do you have? Yeah. No, I do. I have multiple <laughs> copies of this. It's really sad. Uh, you can have the Blu-ray. It's even unopened. <laughs> It's the Apocalypse Now Redux, uh, which got it's got like all like three different versions of the film, uh, plus the uh, the documentary in it. Um, Lawrence Fishburne, that was his first movie, and he lied about his age. He was fourteen when he shot that. Oh my god! Yeah, he's a That's baby insane. in it, and uh, yeah, it's meant Dennis Hopper's like he's messed up uh, in that movie, but yerp. Uh, Wrecker throws le Leatherhead off of the side. This part was cool. That was Paul with the ghost ship in New York. And uh, it looked like one of those pod race engines on the back of the ship. But there, there's nothing else that stands out on the rest of this, right? They well, end those up... are really dark screen grabs. Yeah. Right? It's pitch the black. Whole was again. I was trying to watch it again, and all I had to do was listen to it. And then I still had to watch it another two times to try and see everything. Look at the The praying mantis is right behind him in that yeah. shot. There you go, right here. Did you try watching it out of the shower, though, Ernie? That helped the third yeah. time, yes. Light more yeah. candles in there. <laughs> I tried to see. I, I love when you're loose. This is... The shadows. This is every frame. All right, so they end up capturing the bounty, and then, Yoko, this is where we uh, disagreed. She, she first of all, she kind of no, sort no, of no, no, no. Not, till the, not till the very end, though. Yeah, first right? she kind of reneges. She doesn't give them the information about M count. She's like, "All right, you got it. I'm gonna go get you the information," right. which is very, very sneaky. It's very sneaky. I didn't like that. And she gets back onto her ship, and she makes a call. Now That's I'm of fine print is important. You know, you gotta read that fine print. <laughs> I am of the school of thought that she is. Betraying them. Well, not yet. You know right? what? She. It what was very think? cool. Go ahead. The, doesn't that come at the very end, where you think she's betraying them? Yeah. Well, yeah. she said that she would get them the information. Mm -hmm. She's going yeah. to get them the information. She didn't say, "And I won't screw you to profit off of it." In the end, yeah. she doesn't say that. She's going to give them the information, and she's smart enough to know that if she can profit off of it, she will. So don't you see that as you don't count that as a betrayal? Like not if she gives them knows. what they want. The betrayal then, hadn't happened yet, though, you know? So who right. knows? Like she I, she could still be. I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, I was trying to hold off because I don't we're not there yet in the screenshots, that part that we're talking about. But if so I had to watch it like three times. If we're gonna blow past all this, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I had to watch <laughs> it like three there? times and she explains it. So I mean nice every scene she moment. explains it. And she yeah. says we know they were talking of she's going to she's going to double cross us. And she was right there at the door. And it's what Paul was saying. She said, no, I'm not. I said, if you do this job, I will get you the info. And mm -hmm. then we go on and they say it again. And she's like, that's not what I said. Let's see what happens after this job. So it, it was like she was saying you have to finish. Cool. Men then, just hear what they want to hear. They're not actually listening to the woman speaking. You know, that's true. That's yeah. what you say. Time. Sorry, could you say that? I'm sorry. I kind of phased out there a second there. I was looking at that. Exactly. Listening to early talk. <laughs> um, so, and this is early Fennec, too, right? I mean, it's not the Fennec that we know from 
the greatest show of all time, The Book of Boba Fett. But Tier four bounty oh. hunter Fett. Yeah, it was so good. So, they only gave it one season because it told <laughs> everything they needed it to tell. You know what? Um, oh, he'll be back. Just give him a chance. It's Commander Cody. That's why they're retooling. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, honestly, too, I, I think that uh, Fennec at this point, like, she's keeping her word. If she betrays them or, like, quote unquote, yeah. betrays them, she's not betraying them. She's giving them exactly what they're, she's going to get them the information, right? Um, you know, their, their big concern was they, she was going to screw them during the mission and leave them high and dry. She didn't, right? They went through, they did everything. She's going to get them the information. They never once say, and please, don't betray us after it's done or whatever, or don't tell anybody what this is what we're doing. That's a completely mm. separate thing. That seems right? like semantics screwing me after the mission or during like, you know, like after there has the, been, our there deal. Has been no screwing yet. If, if it exactly. happens, which I, no, but which it's I like, think that she is. But the, but the thing is that's, that's, that's conjecture anyways, right? What is she doing? She's getting them the information. Mm -hmm. That was the deal. So where's the betrayal in that? In that's that what I'm asking. Part, no, you, you're, part, you're projecting no. that there's there's going to be. Yes, she's she's obviously, you know, sharing information with somebody else. You don't mm -hmm. know what it, you know where yeah. that's going to lead. Part of us, you know, it feels like oh, she's setting them up to to screw them over. She also, she right. said, "I'll give you what I have on them." So who knows what that means? Like what that what she's going to give them. But like, if she's getting the information, she's got to give something to get the information that that they're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. And I think right. she also. But I think she also knows those guys can take care of themselves, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I I think she's saying she's saying words that are being interpreted to mean something else. Yeah, and that's, that's that's that the makes Star her Wars conniving. Fans no, Star Wars fans would never do that, Yoko. They would never <laughs> uh, yeah. extrapolate based on words. And it could be. I, I think that's what it is. She, if, to get that information, she's got to play this game. Yeah. Saying, oh, by the way. Because she says she hasn't. She's kind of heard rumblings about it, but she's never done that gig. So if she wants right. more information, maybe she's like, oh, and by the way, I have this stuff. So she wants in on that and whatever those bounties are. And that's how she's gathering that information. It could be yeah. just that as well, right? Instead of like, by the way, Fennec Shan's, you know, poking around asking questions about this and drawing attention to herself versus Fennec Shan wants a couple of these contracts, right? So she can get rich. So it, it mm -hmm. could be that in of itself as well. And this could be a red herring. I think the tell yeah. was when she asked about Omega. She wanted to know how Omega was. Is there something going on? They still wouldn't answer her because they don't trust her. But I think her with the connection with Omega and her even asking was our tell that she ain't going to do nothing. I, I know this weird phone call happens at the end and what transpires, but I think it's like what everybody's saying is she's going to have to do something and whatever info that she is given is to give. They, they're going to get their answer as far as the what does M count, M count stand for, you know? So I don't think she's going to like double cross or screw them or whatever i think they're 100 percent playing the audience to think that she's like to make yeah. it seem like yeah. she's going to like they want yeah. you to think that she's going to. oh you think it's a little misdirection like, misdirection yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay but, that'll be cool but, or whoever um, pays the highest yeah. like she said yeah but I, I i think she's like five steps ahead of everybody else you know i think she's five steps ahead of everyone else <laughs> <laughs> it's a good yeah. call, Paul. Right? That is. Yeah. Wow, Paul. I've never heard that, Paul. That's <laughs> right. I think we should just stick with that right there. Paul, That's so profound. It. That's yeah. so profound and Thank such a God. unique perspective. Right. Guys, not this month. It's starting no. to feel like an enablers episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What uh, <laughs> I don't know who those people are, says Paul. <laughs> I don't know. I, said, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know who um, they are. Yeah, I know. You're one of them, you fiend. Somehow, I did, I did get you. for some reason. <laughs> I don't know how. I did get you in New York, though, Paul. Pretty good. You did. You did. Uh, Paul ha Paul had mentioned he missed out on pre-ordering the SH Monster <laughs> Arts Godzilla Minus One from pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I felt asleep on that. And uh, I'm, 
No, no, I don't know. Winger oh. Lose and Yoko have oh, some okay. some sort of inside joke that transcends internet where their locations are. But yeah, I was, you were saying you missed out on the pre-order. I'm like, oh, I think it's out already in Japan at least. But there's a Tamashi Nation store in Times Square, and we went there, and um, boom, lo and behold, they had it in stock. Um, we got one. Oh, you that got one. Good. Yeah. That's Shit. nice. <laughs> Fuck off again. You can, you can put it back. I can. Yeah. But, uh, you know, su super cool. And then while I was there, I saw something big and shiny. And I was like, oh, I couldn't. I shouldn't. And then but I Kevin, Kevin was like, I have room in my bag. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> you can put it in my bag. Should as a friend, should I not offer? If a friend's like, I really want this, but I feel like oh, I absolutely. I don't have the this space. Is, this, is, this is a little bit big. This would have been oh. meant oh. Kevin oh, couldn't okay. have brought wait, anything wait, in his bag. Wait, yeah. <laughs> are we done talking about bad match? Sorry, we, we, <laughs> we went off is the rails. More? I just, I'm, just, I'm just asking. That was my two cents in summary <laughs> for the show. <laughs> I'm just asking if we're done because <laughs> I, I I missed that if we were. <laughs> Oh, we were told now yeah. who's not listening. <laughs> no, the, I think that episode, I don't think there was more to add to Look, that. You can fight we me or you can trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. That's what she said. Nice. Thank you. Good use of that line. I, I recognize it. <laughs> but Yoko, Ernie, don't you think as a friend, I should offer up my... Uh, suitcase space to a friend who's like uh if we're headed back to the same destination hell yes yeah if you right? were sure if you were sure that you had the space at the moment i did <laughs> yeah <laughs> right that's the date that's the dangerous part because that was early on in the day right yeah that was the first place I've... we went to after the failed trip to the empire state building right see and i'm not the responsible one because i would have told paul i could make it fit it's all right i could leave shorts here i could yeah. You gotta get Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> you can rebuy underwear and shoes. Right. Yeah. In a suit. Let's see. You can oh. leave the pajamas and the toothpaste, and there's so much you could leave out of your bag to bring back toys. There you go. It's always a way. I got it back. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. That's yeah. a good we figured one, out. We did some enabling. You got some good That's stuff. Huge. Yeah. I got some good stuff. It was uh what did you get? Oh, I got from Tamashi Nations. I got GT Goku. My favorite Dragon Ball. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. Right. Tell us about that figure, Ernie. Okay, so that's little Goku. <laughs> oh, that was it? Damn, you didn't even yeah. let the joke run more than one second. <laughs> I'll go ahead and let you show off your toys. <laughs> and uh, this, these rock effects, I think they're real rocks or made with I don't metal. think they're real rocks. There's some heft to them, man. I don't they're... think they're real. <laughs> you got ripped off, dude? Would that be yeah, better or worse yeah, if they were real? Just, they're not real. Not real rocks. Would that be better or worse? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. When I, I get know. my password and go up there, I have some rocks I can sell you, Kevin. That will <laughs> oh. you yeah. I was going to say you don't need a passport to go to New York or anything. No, <laughs> that's you went, you went Canada. He's like, I you don't? <laughs> <laughs> we could have gone to New York a while ago. <laughs> I was waiting all this time. That's it. That's all you got with rock effects in those. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a bag rock. of uh, we got a bag of <laughs> Star Wars uh, swag from from the event. All the the licensees, um, yeah, had had uh, samples. I guess product samples, and threw them all in a bag. One Kevin of them... scored himself a nice chase. Uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron uh, Darth Vader Sith Fighter. It's a rare. A rare. Sorry. Not bad. Oh. Yeah. The black one. I remember I had all of those. Is that is that new? That's this is series five. Series five. Mm. Wow. So with Great. this with this droid port dock onto the ghost ship? Yep. Any ship with a droid port pretty awesome that's crazy yeah. paul did you there... have all of those in in back in the day uh no i did not 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 the know. not the sith not the uh jedi starfighters that stuff that i went after hardcore i had oh, them, he has them all now though 
and they yeah, went I have crazy. Them on now. <laughs> yeah. Um, in that bag, I'm gonna do a video of everything that's in the bag. But this is the craziest thing, and displayed. Like, you people travel. I'm assuming they would know some people traveled, but this is a dis plate. Yeah, it's metal artwork. Yeah, which and was, you attach it with magnets to the wall, right? Yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, uh, imagine your suitcase. That's freaking didn't. beautiful. Yoko, yeah, so you guys had to bring all this. Punch? Huh? Got, I, have, I have a display of uh, Carson Teva. They had one. Oh, nice. Uh, Tommy got it for me. Actually, he ordered it for me and he got one for himself. And it's like, That's dope. yeah. You, is it a, a service where you put your own artwork on it or they have no, like no. a license? Carson they have Tava? a license to Star Wars. They have a number of, and then that one just popped up. Uh, it's know. it's a Mandalorian one, but like, it's like my big fat stupid head is like the sun. Like so, it's in the background, and then there's. I'll I'll take I, I I'll take a picture of it, and I'll show you guys. But uh, it's mm. it's just up the stairs. But um, it's pretty cool because it's magnetic, and you just have to attach magnets to the wall and just stick it to the wall. It's great. I've got a number of them. Actually, I've got some from Aliens as well. Uh, the boys have one. Like they have Red Dead Redemption ones. They got a bunch of different licenses for all these really cool pop culture -y things. So they're heavy metal signs that you hang up with magnets. They're not that heavy. They're not like that heavy. Uh, they're oh, very thin. Oh, okay. I'm so dumb. I have a couple. Right how here. do you how do you apply the magnets to the wall? It's sticky stickers. Adhesive. Yeah, they're they're just they have um, very yeah. cool. I've never heard of this company, so that's awesome. No, is this plugged in? Can you oh, there's a discount for thirty percent off. Yeah. Sorry, not for everybody. That's for me. <laughs> there we go. Let's One time, if I can do this. I'm trying to find the. The Carson Tava big stupid head one. See, see on the wall there that those are displays. Uh, those are cool. Wow. Yeah. So, got an Andor one. I got those for Christmas. Those right. are cool. Yeah. It's a nice way to, I guess, hang stuff using magnets. But it yeah. was just, it was just crazy that there was a whole metal metal plate that I had to wedge into my my carry on. But there's a lot of cool stuff. And I'm excited to see more of those uh, Jazzwares ships when uh, when they go up for mm -hmm. pre-order soon. Um, what shirt are you wearing, Kevin? This is uh, Mad oh, Dr. Inspector Claw. Gadget. Yeah, Doctor Claw. I thought it was a Thundercats shirt, but you're right. And I thought it was in that bag you got the new Disney swag and didn't even know it because they're having a Darth Maul uh, shirt come out like that. To where nice. he's in the corner. So at first I thought it was Maul. I was like, Kevin doesn't even know he's wearing the new stuff. Oh, some lady from Uniqlo said this is a new shirt. Yeah. Return of the Jedi. That's a sweet shirt, man. It is. Yeah. That poster was awesome. I gave her my business card. I think uh, she used it to... Uh, there's a shaky table and she stuck it under the table leg to keep it from wobbling. She scratched out your name wrote on the back for the free lunch at the pizzeria down the street. <laughs> what? <laughs> she said, Rip. We do do that. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do video. Uh, there's more stuff to come out. Um any other any other toy stuff this week? I don't think Pickups, I Bernie, boxed. Yoko. What is oh, that? Oh, oh, pickups? No, I don't have any. <clears throat> From uh, Jazzwares. It's a Series 5. Bad Wolf says 60 minutes of a trailer review. Toy Talk, New York <laughs> Stories. 20 minutes of reviewing the show. <laughs> yeah, that actually... That I is awesome. The, the bongo. The Gungan bongo sub. And it turns. Ooh, I can take that in the shower with me. <laughs> yep. In the tub, it's more fun. Yes. You yeah. Actually go under the water. I have to find me a bigger tub. Lance Peter and Luke, what's up? That is cool. Who did it come with? All three uh, of them? It comes with Jar Jar and uh, Obi Wan, Padakin, uh, Padakin, God, Pat <laughs> Padawan. I uh. keep want to say Anakin, but uh, Padawan, and uh, Obi Wan. Nice. Focus. Padakin Quinobi. Yeah. Padawan. Just waiting. Obi Wan. It had two more seats, four seats in the back. It's got like three yeah. in the front and two. Yeah. So you got enough. Wasn't aware Four. of that. Yeah. 
So Addington Obi Wan. <laughs> Addington Obi Wan. Yes. Mm. The Hot Toys Umbra Operative Arc Trooper exclusive released this week. Was that the yeah, pre-order? I got that. Up. Nice. We'll get that. It's shipping yeah, now. A lot of people were were after that. Uh, from the Hasbro yeah, stuff too. They, they showed off the um, brand new bucket. Oh, that's right. The uh, Moff Gideon. Uh huh. That was a part of it. It's going to light up and everything. We clarified there's a Sabine helmet coming out. Lost that. I have, I have since pre ordered it. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky. Um, Not lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I made I the decision and put a credit card down. So no luck in all just, at all. You it didn't just yeah. magically pre order itself for you? <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah. That's, That's what I, I hope on my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get there someday. Lance Peter Luke says, I'm on such a Phantom Menace kick. Ever watch that deleted scene with the bongo going over the waterfall? Mm -hmm. I think I've seen that. And they got to get out of it before because it like loses power and they got to get out of it before it happens. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Moff Gideon helmet. I thought it was when it when that scene came up on screen, I'm like, and he came out full armor. I'm like, that's going to be a really cool helmet. Yeah. The, the copy says, imagine working for the Empire as Moff Gideon, donning a helmet, paying tribute to the sinister Darth Maul with horn-like spikes. Clever and formidable Moff Gideon wields the ancient Darksaber, an artifact of great importance to the Mandalorian. The Mandalorians. Helmet hat features light-up front visor and interior welcome light effects, plus a display mode. Press and hold the button for approximately... For an approximately hour-long visor and interior lights display. I thought it was saying, press it for an hour. Uh, the visors light up <laughs> solid red and interior lights flash. Requires two AAA batteries not included. Pre-order 321 four days ago on Amazon, Pulse, and other major retailers. Is this going to be added to the, the bucket collection, Paul? No. I'm boycotting Hasbro's. Black series line. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna see if uh, uh, another company comes out with it too before I decide. Uh, it looks great, but I'm I mean I'm I'm curious to see if EFX or Denu Novo are yeah. gonna do a version of it. Those are more your lines, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The only thing that gets me is that red light. Is that gonna be irritating when I have it on and I'm trying to drive down the street and then? The red light is just like that's all I'm gonna see. No, Ernie, I, I I think the bigger problem would be if it is a classic sort of Hasbro helmet is just it fitting on your head. It's very true because they are You're very absolutely you know, right. You need to have a very small head. To to, to fit yeah, in I that. use a lot of Manteca on my cheeks, yeah. and that so. helps for the initial first push. But then after that, yeah, yeah. and, and I cheeks, have to leave it on all day. And those cheeks cut in, right? Yeah, you can see mm. like there's not a lot yeah, of space. Yeah, I'm there. absolutely talking like this for the rest of the day <laughs> while I have my bucket on. Why would yeah. you drive with the lights on? <laughs> so that everybody could see me. Are you kidding? Window down. It, it's the head clearance too with the horns. Make it your head uh, stuck in the car too. You're stopped I'm at every tall. intersection because you're like it's red. It hasn't yeah. changed. <laughs> or you go to no. turn your head and the helmet stays in that one position. You're like, oh, oh, and then you can't. And then see. I'm stuck that way inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Again. Yeah. Yeah, you might like, have what? to be a passenger princess for this one, Ernie. Always am. Yeah. <laughs> like with the Lego head turns inside the helmet. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, this looks cool. Wear this down the street. That's right. The you said they on. they confirmed that there is a Sabine helmet coming. Yeah, I mean yeah. it was announced. It was announced a while ago. It doesn't ship okay. till the fall, I think. Yeah, it, but I got nervous because it, it was sold out on Pulse. It was sold out on Amazon, so I went ahead and I was like, I better lock in a pre-order, not not mess around with this one. Is it like um from Ahsoka? Yeah, or a cartoon one? Okay. Ahsoka, yeah. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I I kind of want the Rex, but I don't know what to do with. Yeah, I want to get the Rex. All too. of these. I want. I have a. I have a Bo Katan. I kind of want to get a Mando. It's it's just it's a lot. 
you always talk about going to a store um that's equivalent to our dollar tree oh I yeah, yeah the one is there yeah. so a lot of people here buy the dollar tree um paper towel holders and they yeah. work really well to hold the bucket and display them up on a shelf or somewhere that you need to so that maybe that might help you to put them all up somewhere yeah that's literally what i'm using on my for my uh helmet stands they're like um here i got one right here they're metal yeah. uh, paper towel racks while paul gets that uh, thanks for bringing that up i found these this week at that store dollarama five dollars canadian each vintage i think this is the first kind of uh main uh, maybe not that first main line adult collectible line uh, at Dollarama because they have the the Marvel Legends classics, the three point seven five superheroes, five POA. They've had those before, but I've never seen like anything TVC. I think this is the first time seeing it. So five bucks, and uh, all all Jedi. That was a that was a nice pickup. I grabbed some for Carl. I grabbed some for my friend Garth, and uh, it was a nice find. Did you get Probably. some for Wayne? Wayne? Yeah. You got some for Garth and you did some for Wayne. Oh, there you go. I was waiting for the punchline. It was right there already. You just flew right by you. Okay, Paul, let's see. Oh, oh there no, you go. Literally, this is it. It's a paper towel holder. Uh, <laughs> except the ones I have are uh, the ones that are using too. I have a tennis ball. You just cut a hole, uh, cut a uh, cut a tennis ball, stick it there just so it's it's got a better base to sort of like oh nice um, to pivot on. But it was like mm -hmm. two bucks for one of these, so I got a bunch of them. So it's great because actual helmet holders are expensive. I mean, you just cut the tennis ball in half, or just no, the I just bottom? you just cut a, cut a hole in the tennis ball like a oh, like okay. with an exacto, and then it yeah, it's like you know. Um, when you put them on the bottom of chair legs, yeah. sometimes, yeah. except those yeah. you have to make an X to make them wide enough. But this is a, yeah. it's very narrow at the top, so it's just a slit. Oh, just do one slit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do I didn't even heard that handle? part of it. Can't they just sit there? Uh, they can, but like I like the tennis ball because then it protects the inside of the but, helmet. Right. Like, I mean, the stand at, at all. Like, oh. why does it need to stand at all? Why does it? Oh, looks? it just, yeah, it just looks okay. a little bit cleaner. Uh, and it's. Okay. It raises it up, so I have them displayed. Most of them displayed with like a hot toy figure beside it, and it just mm. looks a little bit nicer if it's off the uh, the shelf I itself. See. So, I see. Mine yeah, or if you want to put <laughs> put shell uh, ships with it, just put yeah. the corresponding MGS ship with it. It'd be cool. Oh, that's a good idea too. Well, Kevin, that, yes. I was saying last time too for the Ross Vintage Collection, uh, had a bunch for uh, the sale barge, and you said you needed some, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. sweet. You found some? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Paul, did you need some too? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks, Thor. On those? Okay. And then there's. Who did I show? There's this Skiff Guard Wolf. And then, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, there's also the Nikto. Nice. Sweet. And there's also uh, Yak Face. All for $4 uh, each? Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, vintage collection. Unreal. So that's, an, that's the waves that's hitting out here at Ross. The wave that you had shown, that hasn't hit our stores yet anywhere oh. whether it be dds ross um you know tj matt whatever it may be on our end over here in the states so i was really surprised when you show that wave because that's another good solid wave i know a lot of people are after this one to help with their uh sail barge but that one too that you had especially with the ahsoka was a good one but that hasn't hit here so it's really funny how you know things are out so everyone knows the skiff garden names references I don't know what that means, Bad Wolf. Did I, I watched the video today, real quick? Uh, it, it was a it was for his new show, Giancarlo, and I've always been saying it Esposito, but he pronounces it Esposito. It, so? I think I, 
uh, yeah, that's what that uh, like. I just assumed it was Esposito, and then um, so yeah, and then I heard hi- until I heard like him that say means it, like, anything, Ernie. <laughs> Jesus, you're right, McCann. You're absolutely <laughs> right, aren't you? Oh, but no. I also thought it was pronounced that way. Yeah, <laughs> like like the song, Don Carlo Esposito. <laughs> Yeah. That's why. That's why. That's I assume despacito. That. Yeah. Despacito. Oh, oh. oh, now you're gonna take offense to something. That's not. Not, <laughs> not you speaking my language. Carlo Esposito. That's not it. No. Esposito. Yeah. That was int- that, that just. I just remember that. Um. Yeah. I think that's it for this week. Unless anyone has other cool pickups or Star Wars stuff, then otherwise it's off until. Sorry, Paul. Are you gonna be back for next week? Uh, I will be flying back on April Fool's Day, so uh, I might, uh, depending on when my flight comes in, it it actually lands in the afternoon, so yeah, I should be able to make it if I'm not completely exhausted. You need anything, brother? Give me a call. Okay, man. (laughs) I'm going to be staying right downtown, though. Yeah, I'm going to be right downtown. I will what? I said you'll ditch us all. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. This time, maybe he'll tell you guys what he's doing. Doesn't matter what's going on. Yeah. Uh, uh, I put money on that, Paul. (laughs) He'll tell tell Tommy, apparently, but not the rest of us. (laughs) I was messed up. Tommy put me right out there. Oh, no, you told me, Ernie. Uh. (laughs) John Carmen, isn't that Desperado? He's been... (laughs) What? We were talking about Despacito. I think this is a line from the song Desperado. Um, yeah, so Polly may or may not be back, hopefully uh, it, back in time next week. Um, you did a stream yesterday, Paul, for yeah. three hours back on your channel yeah. for the first time in a minute. Um, but yeah, I had help from it. somebody, which is why it went so long. So, because it was an actual conversation happening. Okay. Usually I do it solo, so it's just like it's it's a little bit more it's just me talking to myself. <laughs> um so it doesn't take as long, right? Um but uh yeah, no no no. Kevin was was nice enough to to jump on. We were able to talk about share our experiences in New York City. Um sort of it, it was kind of a giant sized episode. Unfortunately, I had to cut one of the uh one of the uh toys I was going to unbox much to cat chins utter disappointment but she's still stuck around um and but uh, we got to see five versions of predator three steel books or five okay yep yep no discs but we got to see the the variants the different variants man just the steel yeah that was cool <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun and uh first first invite i'm glad i could help out on your stream yeah uh so next week or this sunday you're going to be away so no show this week on the bitter Asian dude. Um, or th- I do have the video of uh, our New York hijinks. You can go check that oh, out. Yeah. Uh, Yoko, what about you? What's going on with you this week? Um, I think I'll stream tomorrow. I don't know exactly what I'll do yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll jump on tomorrow, tomorrow night, um, 730 ish Pacific time. Um, I've got some more can of cards to open. Maybe I have some Japan stuff to show off. Maybe. Um, or maybe I'll just play the game. We'll see. But I do want to open those Arcana cards. It'll just take me like 10 minutes. So, you know, I got to do something else. But yeah, I'll stream tomorrow night for sure. And then Wednesday night, the Fallen Fit Chronicles. Oh. Now boarding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, boy. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Ernie, yourself, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Tomorrow, I will be cleaning up my room while watching Yoko McCann on YouTube. That would and be then, problem. shh, I was not out <laughs> to watch. there? I'm not. I was at Disneyland while you guys were on. I had to say hi. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going to be stuck in here. I got to get set up for Wednesday, 6 p.m. The Fallen Fet Chronicles, the only thing on Wednesday nights. Come join us. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got lots to talk about this show. Uh, thanks for everybody who always sticks around, watches, and uh, has been sending all good ideas for content. 
Um, we'll definitely be getting to it on Wednesday night. And then following that, uh, Starlight Digest podcast uh, immediately after at 8 p.m. And Thursday night with the Toy Migos with their Not Dolls. As I will be back this week because I missed last week because I had to go see Ghostbusters. Paul, did you see Ghostbusters yet? I, I have not. I really want to. I didn't go either. Sorry, Ernie. You did it? No. Oh, never mind tomorrow's show. Let's see what happens for tomorrow's show now. Um, I watched it today. It was so good. Oh, I watched it today. You, went, you saw it. Ghostbusters? Yeah, I watched it today. Oh. I loved it. Are you when being you for real? To do that? Yeah, are you being for uh, real? You did? No, I just skipped work because I'm like, I really love Ghostbusters. So I, I decided, like, I, I don't want to wait anymore. Like this of a... today, yeah. I was like, I don't just just because I wanted to be the first one out of the four of us to see it. <laughs> and uh, I was right. It was good. It was really good. I liked it a lot. Whatever, Kevin. I especially <laughs> like the part Sorry. where uh, <laughs> the ice and he says, ice to see you. Oh. And then Ryan Dole walks in the screen. It's it's so <laughs> jarring because it just doesn't yeah. fit. Okay, it's now like... I know you're full of shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But happy birthday to Ryan Dole. Happy birthday. Happy belated... Hey, he's not watching. Yeah. But he's uh, watching. Is he? Is he on the I didn't see his name up on the boards. Well, he's Yoko's on. He's so good about watching he's gonna... uh oh, yeah, he's gonna watch the replay. The replay crew. About watching yeah. yeah. The replay crew. So if you're watching us, Ryan, you bastard, <laughs> happy birthday. Forgot about you the miserable replay. old sod. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's going to be in that wheelchair line soon. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so Good movie. Oh, let's I would have did it. You would have got boarded first and everything, Paul. <clears throat> no, no. We already had first class tickets, man. We get priority stuff anyway. Yeah. I don't know about that. Thanks for throwing it in my face. <laughs> Bet out. I have to do the wheelchair scheme. I was going to sell you on the side, but now forget it. Fake it till you make it, baby. Definitely not traveling <laughs> with you. <laughs> Come on, Yoko. It's going to be so good. So much content. Oh, that's uh, true. This is true. <laughs> the Speaking McCann twins are back. We could even no, tell everybody no, we're twins. No, we're not twins. We're <laughs> <laughs> not. Like second cousins at best. Separated on our <laughs> Ireland island and everything. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was half Irish at the time. She got sent to Japan. I got sent to Mexico for a day. That's why I don't know Spanish. And then for I t- came over to SoCal. I already know her whole backstory. But I'm like 20 years younger than you. <laughs> Good skin. She got the jeans. She got the jeans. <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy tale. Um, so a lot of exciting stuff for everybody. I, I'm so swamped with so much stuff. I don't even remember what's going on. Uh, this Thursday unboxing Thursdays will be Jason from animal warriors of the kingdom talking about their Kickstarter along with highly articulated and brick something to discuss the whole thing. So I'm excited for that. Uh, don't forget to check out last week's episode where I spoke with Greg from Super Action Stuff. They're making like the coolest 112 scale accessory packs out there right now. And Greg, it's like really, really, really fun dude to chat with and knows a lot about the industry. So that was a good video um, that we did a pre record on while I was away. Um, Monday again, we're back for Boba Squadron. If you're uh, looking for more content on Patreon, there's the new video of the New York vlog with me and Paul. And I just uh, release the video of my interview with Larry Houston, who was the producer director of X-Men, the animated series. We chatted last, last week at Toronto comic con. So there's so much stuff. It's hard to keep track. Um, but again, if you follow on Instagram, uh, everything going on, we have the toy con April 7th with e collectibles. Again, Paul's going to be there. Uh, Cal Dodd, McFarland toys, lots of cool giveaways coming up. So stay tuned. Instagram.com slash toying around, Patreon.com slash toying around, YouTube, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching tonight. Yoko, please take us home. All right. Thank you guys for sticking through this nonsense, giving us that thumbs up, follow, subscribes all over the place. Oh, yeah. Ernie, you never mentioned heroes and villains, unisex all over the place. No, no, no I don't so want that. Weird. I don't want. Let's not ruin this thing before. No, <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Um, 
But yeah, go check that out. Boba box. 20. Get 20% off. Heroes and villains. Let us know what you get. And hopefully we'll be rocking it next week too. Yes. Uh, I think that's it. Go check out Hero. my Japan vlogs. I forgot to yeah. say that earlier. And shout out to Air Canada for flying this out to Kevin's toy event. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Air Canada. Yeah. Do they have a slogan or like a jingle? No, I'll learn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I forget the. I forget what it sounds. Ernie, can you sing it back for us? I forget what it sounds like. The jingle for Air Canada. Air Canada, Air Canada. We're never getting sponsored by. Air Canada. We fly you with free syrup. I don't know what is it. Oh, it's not an episode of wow. South Park, dude. Oh, uh, you just tried cerveza to cristal. Yeah. There he tried to right sing there. it to the tune of Blame Canada. <laughs> was that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Blame Canada. But he's like, Air Canada. Air Canada. Oh, my God. Ernie. No. Ernie. That's gonna put, the, you're going to be put on the no-fly list. <laughs> was that in your subconscious, or did you know what you were doing? No, I don't know. He knew. He knew. I did it. We, we better go. We better. We got to go, Kev. <laughs> I'll write them uh, an apology yeah. letter right now. Heroesvillains.com. 20% <laughs> off your first order per email. Boba20 as the coupon code. Yoko, was that the sign off? That was it? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, everyone, have yourselves a great evening and keep towing around. Peace. <laughs> Ernie, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that, Ernie. You're not allowed. <laughs> Why? Just trying to throw peace to the no, air. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't, don't, don't do my thing. That is actually her thing. Yeah. <laughs>